If you've tuned into this channel before, you know cycling is my hobby, and I like to make videos about my experiences and the gear that I use. If you've ever wanted to record a ride with your action camera, this two-part video will show you the various action camera mounts that will help you get the job done. If you plan to record video on your bicycle of a once-in-a-lifetime event or some other memory you want to share with your family and friends, you'll soon find out that it's not as easy as it looks and you end up with shaky, unwatchable videos as you ride on bumpy surfaces. Have a look at the not-so-memorable video I recorded. To avoid footage like this, the camera has to be mounted to the bike as securely as possible. An action camera with image stabilization or video editing software can do a great job of removing vibrations from your videos. To have any chance of doing a good job removing the vibration from your video, the mount needs to hold the camera securely in place. The mounts I used in these videos shook the camera so much that it left me with unwatchable video that video editing software couldn't stabilize. Before I show you the mounts, a word of caution. If you plan to use any of the mounts on your bike, tighten the mount so it can't come loose and make sure the mount doesn't hamper the operation of your bike. If it does, you may end up in a crash and recording a not so pleasant memory. Let's begin talking about the most basic of mounts. Uh, here are the first set of mounts we're going to discuss. These are called adhesive mounts, but affectionately known in the action camera world as the sticky mount. And that's because the backs here, you peel this off and stick it down to wherever the heck you want. Now, they look the same. They are actually different. Let's show you here. Hopefully the camera's going to pick this up pretty good. This is completely flat, so these are meant to be stuck to flat surfaces. And this guy, when you look at it this way, you can see it's contoured, which is meant to stick to curved surfaces like your helmet. Just be warned, this adhesive on the back of these sticky mounts is very good, and you'll have a battle trying to take this thing off. You need one more thing to use these mounts, and that's this guy. It's called a buckle. Let me show you how it works. Your camera mounts to the buckle, and then you slide the buckle into the mount. And when you're done, you unclip it from the mount, and your mount stays firmly in position until the next time you need it. It's another way you can mount these. You can actually use a strap like this. And if you notice, there's two eyelets here. And all you do, do is thread this through. And you can use it without using the adhesive backing, and just uh, strap that onto whatever you want, then remove it. And you, you have a place to mount your action cam if you want to put it, I don't know, where, wherever that thing will strap around, that'll work for you. That can work. You'll always see people using sticky mounts on their helmets. And that's because your body helps reduce the vibration and stabilize your footage. The tricky thing about using a camera on your helmet is guessing where the camera's pointing. Let me show you some video footage I shot from my helmet while I was road riding. You can see I'm looking left and right for traffic. When I went through the roundabout, I thought I'd reposition my head to keep that rider in the center of the shot. You can see from the video here, man, I was way off. That's one of the downsides of using the mount on your helmet. You'll never know what you recorded until you get back home. Another thing I wanted to mention when you use helmet mounts, the added weight of the camera and the mount on your helmet takes some getting used to. In some cases, the helmet's off balance and it becomes uncomfortable to wear when you're riding. You might want to take that into consideration if you're going to record a long ride. If you don't like the feel of the helmet mount, then consider using one of the different mounts that attaches to your bike. Before we go on to the next type of mount, I wanted to show you these little guys called pivot arms. A lot of people fail to see how valuable they are. They're really good when you need to change the angle of the camera. There are different ones. There's a long ones, there are short ones, and some of them are used to change the position. Have a look at this one. The mount is in the same position. You can see the, the grips are in the same position, but this one, one set of grips goes one way and one goes the other way. So that means this would actually change the position of your camera 90 degrees. Let me give you a quick demo with them used on a helmet. Okay, so what I can do is put in the, a pivot arm like that. Okay. And then I'll take this other pivot arm. So I, can, I got that. Now I, I think you can see that I got action like this and like this. Now you can move the camera into any position and lock the pivot arms into place. The next set of mounts we're going to discuss are bar mounts, and we have a, a smorgasbord of bar mounts here. These are plastic versions of bar mounts. Usually you'll put them on your handlebars, or you'll put them on your seat post. You can even put them on the uh, top tube. Now let's look at each one of them individually, as each of them has a different strength that you have. This is the most basic. This is a straight bar mount, and just uh, it comes usually equipped with its own thumb screws. 
and you'll put this on your handlebar or wherever. Let's uh, have a look at one put onto the handlebar. The way this thing fits around the handlebar, the camera ends up pointing sideways. So that's not typically what you want. So what you'll have to do in this situation if you wanted to shoot straight ahead is you're going to have to use a pivot arm to change the direction of the camera. And the one thing about pivot arms and mounts, every time you add a pivot arm, you increase the chance of vibration. So make sure you tighten up as best you can. If you look here, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It does flex a little bit. So at higher speeds and bumpier roads, this thing is not going to fare too well. Now the next mount I have for you is the ball head mount. What makes this one special is you attach your camera to the top here and you can rotate it around any way you want. One thing you'll notice here, this is a quarter 20 screw and that's what's used on most camera equipment. So if you need to attach an action camera or a GoPro, you need to use this adapter that usually is not included with this and screw this on the top. I'll show you what I mean. You screw this guy up on the top here like this. Then you use this little uh, thumb screw down here and you close up that gap there and tighten it up really good so that this won't unscrew itself when you're shooting on your bicycle. And you tighten the collar and now you've got the angle you want and it'll stay there like that. This one here also came with several shims. Uh, a shim usually you use to fill gaps. Let me show you how it works. Let's say this is your bike and we'll say that's the uh, seat stay. And you notice this is too big. Okay, it doesn't feel like I'm doing a magic act. Anyway, getting back to this. So now the mount won't do a very good job for you because it's going to be too loose and it'll just jitter around. That's where the shim comes in. You'd wrap it around. Then you would screw this guy all the way up. Now that holds it up nice and secure. And you can go ahead and use the mount on a smaller style or smaller size tube on your bicycle or wherever else you're going to mount this to. The shim also adds some protection to the surface you're clamping to so the mount doesn't scratch it. The downside to these mounts is they tend to move when you hit nasty bumps and a lot of vibration on the road and it'll end up changing the position of the camera. I don't know if you can see this watch. As much as I tighten this down it still will move. They're great if you're riding at slower speeds on smooth surfaces. The ball head mount. Finally we have this guy. They call this one a roll bar mount. It kind of looks like this one. Except if you notice, it looks like the big brother. It's so much uh, so much larger than the other one. You can see it here. And we get a message here. Uh, so it uh, looks, uh, it is a bit larger. The nice thing about this one is compared to this, we have a metal bar here. I don't know if, uh, it, hopefully I can loosen this up so you can see the top of it. There we go. So that is a U-bolt is what they've used here. So this is a little stronger, so it'll, it will stick to something a little better. Uh, you have the thumb screws that are built in. The reason I got this one, uh, you can see this here. This actually swivels 360 degrees. So you can actually put your camera any way you want. And it removes the need for uh, pivot arms. And you can see just down here. Uh, let me get that over there. There we go. Uh, let's see. Right there? Yeah, right there. Uh, there's a screw down here. You loosen it, change the position, retighten the screw. What ended up happening is uh, this thing was not tightened up so much and there was just a little bit of play and it ruined some of my footage. So I decided not to use this. It also broke. This mount would work well if it's stationary, but it's not a great option for your bike. What you've seen so far are the most basic of mounts that work well if you're riding on smooth surfaces and slower speeds. If you're not sure what mount you need, you can buy an all-in-one action camera kit. There are all kinds of them out there like this Neewer version. It gives you an opportunity to experiment and find out what works for you. I'll have links to where you can get the kit and all the rest of the mounts that I showed you in the video in the comments below. It's time to end this video. In part two of this series, we'll look at sturdier mounts made of aluminum and mounts you wear. I also have a hack to show you. If you like this video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe to this channel. We'll see you soon.